Okay, well I thought I'd run through everything that I use for motorcycle camping slash touring. So what I have laid out is all my kit, all my gear, what I actually use when I'm on the bike. Uh, it's how I can eat, sleep, and pretty much survive um, comfortably while I'm, while I'm traveling slash camping. What I have everything here, I've got stuff for eating. So I usually travel with one fork, I have a bowl, I have a mug, uh, both of those are unbreakable. And then I have a pot and I can use the lid of the pot as a uh, as a plate of sorts. So that all nests together and is very small. I've got travel towels. So I've got a little one and then a big one in here, super absorbent and dry really quickly. Those are handy for showering. I've got a little survival pack. So some fire starting stuff, some spare batteries, some matches, some safety kit gear that all packs up into this waterproof container. I've got a paracord bracelet I travel with. Uh, I get probably about eight, nine feet of um, paracord out of this. I've never taken apart or needed to, but just in case. My passport, three knives. So I have my usual pocket knife that I have in my just on my jeans at all times. I've got a disposable throwaway knife that I toss in the bag, and then my larger knife for hacking up branches, trees, uh, things like that if I need to. That goes in the sheath. For lighting, I always use this headlamp, super bright. It's supposed to be 200 lumens or so. Tends to last quite a while on the battery pack that, that it comes with. And then I have my pen light, probably my favorite. Um, very, very bright. Batteries last a very long time. Uh, and I can just stick that in my pocket. It's got multiple modes. Things like that, um, but super handy. Very nice. This light kind of turns into a lantern if you extend it. It's bright enough. It's just kind of a backup. And then another hand handheld flashlight that's quite bright. Rechargeable battery. Uh, and it does a good little job. I also travel with um, rebar tie wire. I had to buy a new pack because I used the last one to help a guy fix his bike. Basically, this will allow me to fix most things that I need to. It can really add some structural stability instead of tying something up. Uh, a guy I was camping with snapped his, uh, his shift lever off and I was able to use rebar tie wire plastic coated to fix that back to the bike and he actually rode the 500 kilometers or so home on that fix um, and his, his shift lever was broken clean off the pocket reference so this just has data in it tables numbers lots of different things to look up information on whatever you can think of just in case i'm at a cell phone service and i need something technical wise to look up if i have to fix my bike or something a hatchet and this uh the saw nestles within the hatchet uh, both work really well, it seems. I've never had any problems. I've got this broken ski lock that I just used. The locking mechanism still works, just the recoil is broken. I use that to secure down gear if I'm in somewhere where I'm afraid somebody might take off with a bag or something. Kind of handy. A little dry bag for my phone slash wallet if need be. Fire starting sticks, those are handy if I'm dealing with wet, wet moist wood or something like that. Get a fire started. A little emergency stove. I don't actually use a stove for the most part. I camp on or I cook on a campfire if I can, but I use this in the mornings to make coffee just when I don't want to get a full fire started. For water, I've got my filtration bottle. Um, that way I can drink from streams, lakes, things like that and feel safe about it. I don't usually use tablets. Um, I don't really need to. Uh, and then I've got my GPS mounts on a ram mount. This is water resistant, so it's okay in all weather. Life proof case for my iPhone, um, that way I can mount it to the dash or to, to my handlebars and not worry about it. Uh, a little cloth just for wiping stuff down. A Bluetooth speaker, so this doubles as a battery bank. So it's got quite a large battery in it and it will charge my phone slash whatever I can plug into it with USB. Uh, so that's pretty handy too. Uh, sleeping wise, I use a Hennessy hammock quite often. Uh, this is the, as the Expedition um, as asymmetrical zip, whatever that means. Um, that, and then this is the larger fly for it because I don't like the small fly. And these together work really nicely. I've never gotten wet in it. Uh, the only complaint I have is that I get cold uh, when I'm in my sleeping bag and it's a little chillier out. The breeze underneath me and the, and the air underneath me make me chilly. So that's why I use a Thermarest. And what I've recently done is I bought myself a tent it takes up just about the exact same amount of space as these two. So depending on where I'm traveling, if I know there's going to be trees, if I know it's going to be chilly, I can go between the two and be okay. And that is my sleeping bag, packs down fairly tightly. It can go smaller, the, st the stuff sack just isn't the greatest for it. And then just a, a regular dry bag uh, that 
I think it's 30 liters or something, just in case it gets really wet and, and I need to stuff some things in it. And then finally, this is the chair I use, my tent sitting in. So this folds up really nicely, and I mean, anybody who's ridden a long day or anything like that, um, getting a, having a chair at your campsite uh, can really make the end of the day a lot nicer compared to just sitting on the ground or on a log or something. So that's, that's a great piece that I have. So this here is basically all I do for clothes. Um, I've overpacked a lot in my life with clothes, so I've, I've kind of learned to pare it down into just what I need. And with what you see here, I can get through a week of, of summer slash early, late spring, early fall riding uh, perfectly comfortably. So I usually only do two t-shirts, um, two pairs of underwear, two socks, one mid-layer type thing, a little warmer, a fleece from them out by a fire or something like that. Um, and then a little bit of a smaller sweater. That's okay, that fits nicely under my jacket. Um, rain pants here, this is a bib rain pants. Those keep my legs nice and dry. Um, my Gore-Tex shell, super light. It packs down really nicely. And then one pair of extra jeans. So I pack all this with the idea that what I'm wearing will add to it. So I'm usually wearing you know, a t-shirt, a pair of jeans, socks, underwear, and then uh, a, a medium layer thing already. So that adds to it. Um, and then my bag, it's, it's, a, it's smaller. I think it's 20 liters or so. It's kind of rubberized on the outside. There's lots of little clip points on it. And this will fold down into a very, very small thing if need be. Um, but I find this size is great for on the passenger, passenger seat. Straps down, doesn't take up too much space. And uh, it's really great. So in any kind of rain or anything, typically anything inside doesn't get wet. It's got these large large overhang seams, things like that, that really, really make it nice. Nice and handy and nice, nice and keep things dry. So yeah, this is what I get away with. So yeah, everything packs down pretty nightly, pretty nicely just into these three bags. So I've got my tank bag, this is where I stick all my knickknacks, things like that, things that I want it, just close hands, close hand to put my sunglasses in here, my passport. Um, I can put change in here for when I'm taking tolls, things like that. So that's really handy. Put almost all my camping gear in, in my Givy top case here. Um, it's waterproof, it holds quite a bit and it doesn't get too heavy. Uh, and like I said before, I can interchange my Hennessy hammock for uh, a full tent and it takes up pretty much the same amount of space. So that all fits down nicely. And then in my clothing bag, I put a few extra little things, stuff that I might want to get out quickly, like my cooking stuff, some emergency things, dry bag, um, and then yeah, still room to put in food, things like that. So it all packs down pretty nicely. Um, and yeah, I can survive for a week. A week at least on everything that I've got right here. Perfectly fine. See what it looks like on the bike. Okay, well there it all is uh, packed down on the bike. So I've got my Givy box on my rack here. Um, this has never moved. It's been great. It's held just fine. Previous owner had that put on, but I, I bought, the, I had the box. Um, got my bag of clothes and other stuff strapped down to the back. I use straps like this and then just do kind of a purchase on them. Um, I need to get some uh, some bungees. I just haven't found any that I really like just yet. So this is fine, just to my grab rails. And then I've got my tank bag obviously put down. It's not a magnetic one, so it uses these clips. Uh, so hopefully it doesn't scratch my tank as much because it's non-magnetic. But again, that's just where everything I put that I need to grab at a moment's notice in. Um, I've also got an Airhawk seat pad. I use a stock seat. With this, I find I can go all day. I need to start on it. I can't put it on when my butt starts to hurt, um, but it really, uh, really, really helps. And I find the best thing is sit on it and then let out air until you're like a centimeter off the seat. Uh, don't overfill it. It's my best recommendation with that, but it really helps on the long days. And finally, up front, I've got my GPS on my RAM mount for when I run out of service, and ooh, this is where I'd put my iPhone. Um, and then text calls, things like that, will pop up when I'm riding. Uh, and I can pull over and answer if, if it's an emergency or change music, things like that. Um, but all in all, it, it all fits on the bike nicely. It's not 
overloaded. It's not like I can take a passenger with me, but um, this will get me get me for a week just perfectly fine without the need for side cases, things like that. Uh, and then I didn't mention, like, I've left some extra room in this bag, and that's where I can pack uh, some beers or groceries, things like that. I tend to I tend to buy my groceries the, the night I need them, and then, you know, I can stick them on that, take them to where I need to go when I'm camping. So all in all, not too bad. If you guys have any questions, just throw them up in the comments. Riding season here is almost done. I don't think I'll be getting any more trips in, seeing as it's November, November 10th now. <laughs> So starting to get a little chilly, so she's going to go away into hiding for the, for the season soon.